Hey there, Psych2Go fans. Welcome to another thought-provoking package of information that we put together just for you. You can find any and all references used in the description box below for added insight. So let's begin, shall we? Do you ever wonder why others don't see the easy solutions to a problem that you do? Have you ever felt like you have a slightly different thought process from your friends? Did they ever marvel at the simple ways you use to solve their dilemmas or thank the high heavens for your friendship saving their day? If so, it could be a possibility that it's a sign of higher intelligence. We encounter different problems daily, varying from person to person. These problems can be difficult or simple to solve. It is in these moments when we can actually realize that we are a lot smarter than we think, and it's quite the common occurrence. As different people display different levels of intelligence quotient, IQ, and emotional intelligence quotient, EQ, here are certain things that relate to higher levels of IQ and EQ. One, you do not feel smarter than average. According to the Dunning-Kruger effect, intelligent people tend to underestimate their own intelligence as they're more aware of their own weaknesses. By knowing what they lack, they constantly strive for improvement. On the other hand, people who are overconfident about their capabilities often fall short of the intelligent mark. Two, you are empathetic. So what is empathy? Simply put, it's the ability to understand the feelings of other people. Empathy as a trait has been proven to be a sign of higher emotional intelligence in people. Empathy is considered a powerful tool of communication that aligns with the concept of emotional intelligence quotient. It involves the ability to assess our own emotions or the emotions of others. Being able to understand another person's perspectives and feelings is a sign of emotional intelligence. When we have high EQ, we're able to relate to their feelings and provide support. Three, you're creative. Being creative can be applied to many different things. Creativity is a sign of intelligence also because it shows that an individual is capable of thinking outside the box and has different approaches to the problems that they encounter. The ability to adapt to situations and adjust their thinking accordingly is a sign of intelligence. Creative individuals also perceive things in many different ways to gain more perspectives. Four, you are proactive rather than reactive. A sign that you are an emotionally intelligent individual is how you receive information. In our lives, it is highly common that people tend to react immediately after receiving information about something. Reacting immediately allows their emotions to take control over them as well. However, an emotionally intelligent individual would often take some time to process the information and think about it. But let's not confuse this as having slow reactions. It means that they would rather respond appropriately to the situation rather than react impulsively. Although it is normal for people to be more reactive than proactive, being able to slow things down and respond calmly is a sign of emotional intelligence as it shows that the individual is in control of their emotions. Five, you are open-minded. According to a study, openness to experience was found to have positive correlations to levels of intelligence. This means being able to think openly and being open to new experiences are signs of intelligence. Being open to the perspectives of others helps an individual form their own. New experiences expose an individual to new ideas and points of view. Seeing different viewpoints introduces the individual to other ways of thinking before the formation of their own opinion. Thus, if you find yourself being open to new perspectives, you may be smarter than you think. Six, you practice self-improvement. You just quarreled with your best friend and you want things to be okay again. So you choose to apologize first. The ill will evaporates and the two of you reconcile. Having the ability to apologize shows that an individual is not prideful. Even though we find ourselves not entirely at fault sometimes, we practice self-checking to see how we could have handled the situation better. In doing so, we're able to apologize no matter whose fault it was, because not only do we value the relationship more than our pride, but we're also open to self-improvement. Being able to put aside our pride to save a relationship is a sign of emotional intelligence, as we know what's more important. Seven, you crave to keep learning. Another sign of intelligence is to know that learning is a lifelong experience. The desire to learn displays signs of intelligence because learning contributes to personal growth. Wanting to learn more can also be perceived as being open to new knowledge and adopting new ways of thinking, 
which contributes to signs of intelligence. The desire to learn also encourages creativity in the thought process, which may be due to a drive for self-improvement. And eight, you're emotionally aware. Being emotionally aware is a sign of emotional intelligence as it allows an individual to recognize when they're being manipulated or used. It helps individuals see through people's actions and evaluate the intentions behind them. As such, emotionally aware people are better able to protect themselves from emotional manipulators. Having that knowledge can make an individual potentially cunning as well. Although it can be a tool of manipulation, it can also be used to prevent manipulation. So, how many of these signs did you feel that you align with? It's common that we often feel that we're not as clever as other people, and that's normal. That's called the imposter syndrome. To find out more, watch our video titled Imposter Effect, linked in the description below. Truth is, we are actually a lot smarter than we think we are in certain aspects. It's important to remember that not everyone knows everything and that's okay too. Our strengths and weaknesses are what make us unique. We must understand that learning is a lifelong experience and that we should continue to seek knowledge and improve ourselves further. Being open to learning can be a life-changing decision. Do you think you can now better estimate intelligence using these cues? Do let us know in the comments below, if you can tell the intelligent ones apart. Also, remember to share this with someone you think might benefit from it as well. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.